Story The final flight of Emirates 941. Flight 941, a gleaming Emirates Airbus A380, was taking off from Dubai, bound for Sydney. The plane's grand interior buzzed with activity as passengers settled in for the long journey across oceans and continents. The A380, known for its size and luxury, was carrying 550 people that day, each with their own dreams, stories, and plans. Captain Zahid al-Rashid, a veteran with over two decades of flying experience, was calm and focused in the cockpit, joined by his diligent co-pilot, First Officer Sarah Tan, they exchanged routine checks and settled in for what was expected to be a smooth flight. As the massive aircraft climbed toward its cruising altitude, everything seemed perfect. The sun cast a golden glow on the cloud tops, and passengers relaxed, watching movies, enjoying meals, or simply gazing out at the vast blue sky. But beneath the serene exterior of Flight 941, a disaster was brewing. Just two hours into the flight, alarms suddenly shrieked. Through the cockpit. Red lights flashed on the control panel, sending a jolt of dread through Captain Zahid and Sarah. The right engine was overheating. Zahid immediately reduced power to the engine, hoping to cool it down, but within seconds, flames erupted. A fire was raging. Sarah's fingers flew over the controls as she initiated the fire suppression system. For a moment, it seemed to work. The fire appeared to shrink, but before they could take a breath of relief, the fire returned with renewed fury, spreading dangerously close to the right wing's fuel tank. Inside the cabin, passengers noticed something was wrong. Smoke and the faint scent of burning metal began to filter through the air. Fear spread like wildfire as people looked out the windows, eyes widening at the sight of flames licking along the wing. Whispers turned to panicked gasps, and as the flight attendants tried to calm everyone, the cabin was soon filled with the terrified murmur of over 500 voices. Captain Zahid's voice came over the intercom, his tone steady but strained. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing a technical issue. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened. Our crew is working to resolve the situation. But despite the calm command, fear gripped the passengers. Some stood up, panic rising as they demanded answers, while others clutched their loved ones, praying silently. People started moving, pushing their way down the aisles, desperate to feel in control of the chaotic situation. The plane rocked from the movement, and the carefully balanced weight distribution began to shift. Zahid fought to stabilize the aircraft, but the growing panic only worsened the situation. He could feel the A380 losing balance, swaying as passengers abandoned their seats. Zahid looked at Sarah, his eyes filled with grim determination. They had one chance, an emergency landing. Ahead, Zahid spotted a narrow strip of beach along a desolate coastline. It wasn't much, but it was their only option. He turned the plane towards the beach, their one hope of survival. Brace for impact, he shouted through the intercom, his voice echoing through the cabin as the plane began its rapid descent. Inside, chaos reigned. Children clung to their parents, couples held each other tight, and strangers exchanged terrified glances. The flight attendants, trained for moments like these, did their best to calm and direct, but the overwhelming fear was palpable. Some prayed, while others shut their eyes, bracing for whatever fate awaited them. The massive Airbus skimmed the ocean waves as Zahid attempted to level the plane. It was a fight against physics as he battled to keep the nose up. With every second, the shoreline grew closer, and the right engine continued to burn, black smoke trailing behind like a terrifying signal. Then, with a final surge of effort, Zahid lowered the plane, the wheels skimming the sand before they dug in. The sound of metal grinding against the sand filled the air as the plane's body shuddered, sending luggage and trays flying through the cabin. The right wing struck a boulder, tearing away in a burst of flames, and the fuselage lurched, splitting in the middle with a thunderous crack. Passengers screamed as the plane skidded, flames consuming the rear section. 
Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the plane came to a halt, half buried in the sand, flames raging around it. There was silence, a stillness that was both haunting and unreal. Then, as if awoken from a dream, passengers who had survived began moving, helping one another as they scrambled to the emergency exits. Some fell to the sand, collapsing in relief, while others pulled loved ones to safety. Captain Zahid and Sarah, though battered and bruised, remained the last to exit, ensuring every soul they could save had made it out. On the shore, the survivors huddled together, staring at the smoldering wreck of the once magnificent A380. The silence was broken only by the sound of waves crashing and the crackling of the flames. Tears flowed freely, and strangers embraced, the seashore descent the A380's massive frame hurtled down toward the sandy shoreline. Faisal and Sarah fought to keep the nose up, aiming to hit the sand as gently as possible. With a deafening crunch, the plane touched down on the shore, sending up a storm of sand and debris. The massive aircraft skidded along the shore, the flames from the engine casting an eerie glow as it came to a grinding halt, half buried in the sand. The impact was brutal, and for a moment, there was silence, punctuated only by the crackle of the engine fire. Then, as if on cue, though the fire still raged from the engine, the crew managed to lead passengers to the emergency exits, guiding them down the slides and onto the sandy shore. The ocean waves lapped close by, and the smell of smoke filled the air as passengers fled from the wreckage, helping one another and clutching their loved ones. Captain Faisal and First Officer Sarah were the last to leave, ensuring no one was left behind. They stepped away from the wreckage, their faces etched with exhaustion and relief. As they gathered with the survivors on the shore, the sight of the destroyed A380 struck everyone with awe and disbelief. Passengers scrambled to escape, some stumbling over debris as the crew hurried to deploy emergency slides and assist with the evacuation. Thankful for life but shaken to the core by the ordeal. Captain Zahid, covered in ash and exhaustion in his eyes, walked among the survivors, checking on each one. He was a hero that day, though he never sought the title. His face held the weight of those he couldn't save, but also the quiet pride of having fought to the very end. When rescue teams arrived hours later, they found a group of people forever changed, bound by a tragedy that had nearly claimed them all. The story of Emirates Flight 941 would be told for years, a story of terror, bravery, and survival. In the face of impossible odds, the passengers and crew had stared into the face of death and found the strength to survive. In the aftermath, Emirates and other airlines re-evaluated 